Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In the last section, we had a brief refresher on the Flask API. We also set up our project file structure and added some boilerplate code. This is the first video of section 2, Accessing the Database. In this section, we will introduce the Python library SQL Alchemy and Flask SQL Alchemy plugin that makes SQL Alchemy easier to use with Flask. Then we will use SQL Alchemy to create simple SQL queries and create relationships between data. And finally, we will use SQL Alchemy to create some more complex SQL queries. This first video is called Connecting to the Database. In this video specifically, we will cover what SQL Alchemy is and why you should use it in conjunction with Flask. Then we will cover setting up SQL Alchemy to connect to the database of your choosing. So, what is SQL Alchemy? SQL Alchemy is a Python library that allows programmers to create SQL queries Pythonically. To understand this, let's see an example. On the screen, you will see some typical SQL queries. Writing SQL code in Python is rather verbose and requires you to combine two different paradigms of reading information in one code base, one for Python data and one for SQL data. So, what if there is a way for Python to generate SQL code by using normal Python conventions? SQL Alchemy is our answer. The equivalent SQL Alchemy code for these SQL queries is this code. As you can see, this is completely in Python, which makes it much more readable and, in turn, much easier to maintain. But before we can use SQL Alchemy, we have to install it. Using pip, install the Flask SQL Alchemy library with this command. Flask SQL Alchemy is a library that provides a bridge between SQL Alchemy and Flask. It provides some utility functions and allows configuring SQL Alchemy through Flask's configuration system. Depending on the database of your choice, you will also have to install a second library to allow SQL Alchemy to communicate with it. Now, in the app.py file, we have to import the SQL Alchemy module and initialize it. The DB object will act as the connection to our database. We also have to pass the app object to the database object. To connect to the database, SQL Alchemy needs a configuration variable called SQL Alchemy Database URI. So let's add it to our app's configuration object. The value of this configuration variable depends on your database. Now, let's import the database object into the manage.py file so we can debug with it in the future. Awesome! So we have now learned what SQL Alchemy will do for our code and we have a connection to our database object. 